Hey YouTube, this is um, Robonats1 here, doing a, a movie review on Oz the Great and the Powerful. Um, Oz was a stunning film. Um, it's based, it's the prequel from, um, oh, what's it called? My mind's going blank. Um, it's about nine o'clock here, people. My mind is slow. Um, it's based off the Wizard of Oz. And, um... It's directed by Sam Raimi, who also collaborates with James Franco, um, who both worked on um, Spider-Man 1 through 1, 2, and 3. Um, you know, so I bet that was quite interesting, because, um, you know, they're they obviously have worked together before, so they must have enjoyed it. Um, the original Wizard of Oz was actually created by um, Warner Brothers. Um, and Disney did the prequel. So, um, it's quite interesting, because um, who now owns the right, the rights to Wizard of Oz? Is it Disney? Or is it Warner Brothers? It makes you think. Um, and this film really is a very good prequel to The Wizard of Oz. Um, and there are a lot of throwbacks to um, The Wizard of Oz. Um, there's also a few throwbacks to the Wicked um, play. Um, I've never seen the Wicked play, but um, I did some background research, and um, there were definitely some elements there, which is pretty cool. Um, also, the visual effects in this film were stunning. Like, just the flowers, and the... And Emerald City was fantastic. Though I was kind of reminded of Corazon for some reason. I have been, um, watching some Star Wars films, but... Still, it did really remind me of Corazon. But, I mean, still, Emerald City was really, really good. And I liked it. And, and Disney seems to um, like the whole um, uh, Disney seems to like the whole fairy tale. Sorry. Disney seems to like the whole fairy tale thing. Um, because that's what they're really known for. I mean, Snow White, um, you know, Snow White, Alice in Wonderland, all the original films. And, um, you know, fairy tales are now being brought back into mainstream audiences. Like, um, they brought out Jack and the Giant Slayer, which comes out next, um, which comes out later this month, um, Snow White and the Huntsman l last year, Alice in Wonderland by Tim Burton, um, Once Upon a Time, you know, that's a great show that has a lot of, um, fairy tale themes. So they're definitely trying to bring back um, these fairy tale type stories and giving us a, a twist on them, which is interesting because um, 
I think nobody will complain about um fairy tale genres because um fairy tales affect us. You know, I mean even if the food even if the movie is terrible, people will still enjoy the fairy tales. Um so yeah. Um James Franco was really was a really good Oz. Um, I only vaguely remember the Wizard of Oz, but I could believe that James Franco would turn into the guy we see in Wizard of Oz. You know, he's a master illusionist. Um. Who really basically wants to, you know be better, you know. Um, he, he, um, says in the film he doesn't want to be a, um, good guy. He wants to be a great guy, you know. He wants to make an impact on the world and he gets that chance in, um, Oz. But, um, Oz sort of, Oz is a con man, you know. He cons people with his illusions, and when, um, when he enters the land of Oz, um, he cons people into believing that he is the wizard. You know, and and there are moments in the film where he doubts that he is, you know, you know, he feels bad because, you know, his presence affects these people. He inspires hope and, you know, he doesn't, you know, he's not. He hasn't earned that great guy status. He's earned the good guy status, you know. But, you know, these people have been conned into believing that he's something that he's not. And it's really interesting to see how um, his character develops to where we you know, to where we see that great guy that he wants to be. Um, and, and also, the witches were really good. Um, I, I loved the mystery of, um, of who the witch was, like, you couldn't, um, like, I didn't even know who the witch was going to be. Obviously, I knew one of them would have to turn green, but sort of, like, I didn't know which one it was going to be. And, um, the one that it is was sort of was sort of surprising, but I could believe in that which is the Green Witch's origin. Like, the Wicked Witch was believable, which was Ace, you know, and, um, I thought, and um, when I saw that part, oh, well, the Green is is the green going to affect, um, the character? You know, like, was I going to be completely thrown off? I wasn't thrown off at all. And um, the, the way the makeup artist did the green was really good. You know, it, it blended well with this certain actress, you know, and it 
it was sort of like she actually became a better character just by just by me seeing the the origins of how that witch became you know became evil and it, it was really good um and the witches and the witch battles were immense like it was like this is cool um and also the little china girl was adorable um i felt so bad for for the character and sort of um it was interesting to see like the parallels because um there's this girl in um in the beginning who asks Oz to heal her and he can't. Um well this China girl, um Oz has that has the power to heal um you know, China girls legs. And it was very, very interesting, you know, to see Oz in this world can do can do great things and is going back to what I said about Oz becoming that great man, you know. Oz in this world has the power to do those great things and he does. And I don't believe I've ever been so drawn in to a film before. Like, every step in this film, I was on the edge of my seat, you know. I wanted more, and I kind of liked the film for giving me that. So, all round, a really good film, and I'm really recommending that people go see it. Um, hopefully there'll be more movie reviews coming soon. Bye.